Hello Shiny viewers, I am DS, your psychologist and welcome to another episode on Channel Knit. This will be a very unusual episode. In all my episodes so far, I have never openly complained about a particular organization. This will be the first. So which organization has caused me to be so worked up to the point where I have to do a complaint episode? There you go, that's the one. So on 5th of March, my grandmother was admitted to the hospital. They sent her to the nearest hospital to our home. Okay, to cut the long story short, initially she was at the normal ward. After having a surgery done because she had broken her hip bone, she would be sent to the community hospital for rehabilitation. That is when everything went all wrong. Last time, when she was warded in the normal ward, I could get to her easily, we could easily call each other. After she was sent to the community hospital, I think there was totally no contact at all. Not sure why, I caught the hotline, nobody picks up the call. So on the second day when she was transferred to the community hospital, she actually called me, she was wailing. She said that she wants to die, she would rather die than be in the community hospital. So she wants to go to the toilet, nobody attends to her. So she asked the doctor to call me directly and she asked me to tell the doctor that she wants to be discharged immediately. So the doctor wasn't able to talk to me immediately, she called me about 6 hours later. So when this doctor called me, I verified with her what really happened. I told her what my grandmother told me. So she gave some reasons as in, okay, uh, maybe this is the first day here. Uh, so uh, things may be in a mess. She hasn't seen her occupational therapist yet, but she will be seeing uh, the occupational therapist the next day. That kind of a thing. So I think her answer is very politically correct. Anybody serving an organization would give this kind of an answer. It's just so standard. So I exerted some pressure and asked her and I think she started to crack. There was a lot of silence. She was unable to answer a lot of questions. I said, what are you going to do about this? She complained about this and this and this. Can you give me an answer? Her answer was not satisfactory. From her voice, I can hear that she may be actually a very young doctor. Eventually, she said something that made me roll my eyes on the spot. She said, I don't get to gain anything by keeping your grandmother in the hospital, you know. I don't earn anything from this. I was rolling my eyes. Nobody said you did, you know. Why do you say such things? Very childish. Whatever the case is, you may be a doctor. You know that your job is not to know all the medicine and know how to treat a particular patient. This is not a job whereby you just do matching of medication, seeing the patient and then come out with some diagnosis and follow up. Your job is a job that is supposed to be a social job. So it involves also knowing how to manage patients and patients family. So any job that requires human contact is like that. So get to live with it. So after one week, my grandmother eventually called me again. She said that it's very hard for her to call me also because the nurses don't want to give her the phone. I think she's really unable to walk at this point in time and she really needs the rehab. I can understand that. They cannot send her back because I am out of home all the time. So there's no caretaker for her. So this one I can perfectly understand. I did not blame the hospital side at all. So I was trying to discuss with the doctor what we could do potentially to ease this situation. Anyway, a lot of my friends have given very bad reviews of this hospital. So I think it's my turn to add to this pool of bad reviews. There is one thing that I'm wondering about. The nurses don't answer calls. Is it because all the patients inside cannot walk, so they have to push the patients to the phone if a member calls them? Okay, because there's no visitation at this time. The Ministry of Health says no visitation, so no visitors can go up to the hospital. So the only point of contact at this point in time in Singapore is just to call. So I'm wondering whether the nurses deliberately just ignore the phone or are they so understaffed that they have a lot of things to do and they cannot even answer the call. I'm suspecting that it could be a mixture of both. But that is a side issue. At this point in time, I do not have any idea how long my grandmother has to stay. There is no indication. Someone could just call me and say, okay, your grandmother has been improving. 
we think that uh, if nothing goes wrong, she might be discharged within two weeks. You can give a very conservative estimate, but there's no contact from the hospital at all. So I think the hospital really needs to brush up on this. From my grandmother, I heard her say that the doctor told her that I am a very rude person. Maybe that's why she doesn't want to call me again because she's afraid of being gunned down. Hey, you cannot even withstand the pressure of me being understandingly trying to talk to you. I did not even insult you, okay? Then I think you're not suitable, not fit to be in that position. Well, I think a lot of viewers who may be viewing this video may just be looking at a video to know okay, what is some reviews of that hospital may not be actually the normal pool of viewers for our channel. So fellow ENTJ anyway, the ENTJ usually does not come to the extent to complain about anything at all. We at most boycott. So if there's an opportunity one day, I'll talk about the boycotting behavior of the ENTJ. Usually the ENTJ just doesn't want to bother about this. It's not efficient use of time. But if the ENTJ feels that this is not right, then they may start to write a complaint letter or they may actually do something like a video like this. Well, even if the hospital is understaffed, I think this kind of uh, attitude or behavior is really unacceptable. So there might be some people who say that, oh, if you want superb good service, then you should go to high-end hospitals. Mind you, a lot of high-end hospitals have equally bad service. Okay, viewers, regardless of whether you're a new viewer or an ENTJ, if you have had any experience with this hospital, you can actually also comment below so that other viewers viewing this video can actually take a look. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and I'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.